Hi everyone. I don't know if anyone's up. Oh, a couple people showing up. Hi Ellis. Hi Miles. Hi Kimberly. Hi everyone. Hi, Miss Amanda. Yes, it does look lovely here, doesn't it? All right, I'm just going to get started. Uh, hi, Ashlyn. Hi, Annalie. All of our little peepers are here. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> So my name is Michelle Madden. Uh, I am on the instructional staff here at SeaTac Environmental Association's Little Peepers Forest School, uh, which is a preschool here uh, in Suffolk County, Long Island. Uh, we are housed here at a place called the South Shore Nature Center in East Islip, New York. Uh, it is about midway uh, between Manhattan and Montauk on the South Shore in Suffolk County, New York. Uh, we have a pretty nice day here. It's getting a little overcast, but it's actually not so bad. It's probably high 50s, a little cool breeze, occasionally a little gust of wind comes. Uh, but it's actually not a bad day to be outside. Not too hot, not too cold. It's lovely. Uh, and I am here today uh, at the Nature Center's pond. If you can see it behind me, I'm sure you can. Um, trying hard to get a nice, crisp shot of the pond, me. Um, and this is a freshwater pond behind me. I don't, it's very still today. You can see there's no wind. Uh, we have all kinds of creatures living here uh, that we like to take a look at once in a while when we go in uh, with our little peepers and we do some dipping with some nets and, and bring them out into some water to take a closer look at. Uh, and this is the time of year for tadpoles and minnows um, and also eggs. Uh, we've also got, we usually have a family of ducks that live here, uh, although I don't see them today. Uh, and we have more recently a family of Canadian geese that seem to have moved in. Maybe they've scared our ducks away, I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, the pond is actually very high right now. We've got a lot of rain. I'm gonna just hold you all up so you can get a better look around at our pond. And you may be able to hear some of our furry and feathered friends as well. They're loud today. Um, so I thought I would read a book today having to do with um, creatures and young creatures uh, from the pond, uh, specifically tadpoles and minnows uh, that begin to grow up. And I want to read a book today called Fish is Fish. Kind of a funny title, uh, but it's called Fish is Fish by Leo Leone. Now, if you're my age, <clears throat> half century, I'm proud to say, uh, you will be very familiar with this book and possibly the author. Uh, this was one of my favorite books growing up, and he's written a lot of other books uh, about animals and nature, uh, and he illustrates his books as well. But they're just charming little stories, uh, using lots of imagination. And I am excited to share it with everybody. Uh, any transparent fish? No, I don't see any transparent fish here today. In fact, I can't really see any. I've seen lots of frogs, uh, lots of actually very young frogs. We have get lots of bullfrogs here, so they must be uh, relatively new. And I'm sure there are plenty of tadpoles down there. Um, just waiting, growing. They've come up from the mud over the winter uh, and they're starting to develop legs soon. 
uh, and we'll be growing into mature frogs eventually. Um, and we love to find our frogs here uh, when we go out for our hikes at our Little Peepers Forest School, though we haven't been able to do that lately. Um, anyways, again, my name is Michelle. Uh, I'm on the instructional staff here at SeaTuck's Little Peepers Forest School on the south shore of Long Island, New York. And I'm coming to you live from the South Shore Nature Center, which is in East Islip, New York. Just hanging out at the pond. So here we go. Fish is Fish by Leo Leone. And this story is about a fish and a frog who are friends. And the fish is curious about the world up above the pond. And he learns all about it from his friend. Here we go. At the edge of the woods, there was a pond, and there was a minnow, and a tadpole swam among the weeds. They were inseparable friends. Here they are. There's the tadpole and the minnow. They look like they're having a chat. <laughs> One morning, the tadpole discovered that during the night he had grown two little legs. Look, he said triumphantly. Look, I'm a frog. Oh, nonsense, said the minnow. How could you be a frog if only last night you were a little fish just like me? They argued and argued until finally the tadpole said, well, frogs are frogs and fish is fish and that's it. And they are having a discussion. Can you see the little legs on the tadpole? Well, that is the first sign of growing into a frog. In the weeks that followed, the tadpole grew tiny front legs and his tail got smaller and smaller. He's looking much different, isn't he? Back legs have grown much longer to enable him to travel, jump. It's a tail. He's really not looking too much like a tadpole anymore, much more like a frog. And then one day, a real frog now, he climbed out of the water and on to the grassy bank. So not only has he changed his appearance, he's able to do something else, which is survive on land as well as water. And his fish, his minnow friend, who is no longer just a minnow, is watching him, watching him leave. The minnow too had grown and had become a full-fledged fish. He often wondered where his four-footed friend had gone, but days and weeks went by and the frog did not return. Here's the fish, all alone missing her friend the frog who's nowhere to be seen then one day with a happy splash that shook the weeds the frog jumped into the pond where have you been asked the fish excitedly i have been about the world hopping here and there and everywhere said the frog and I have seen extraordinary things. There's the frog looking very excited, very happy to be joining his friend again. And the fish looks happy too. Mm. Really? Said the fish, like what? He asked. Birds, said frog mysteriously. Birds. And he told the fish about the birds who had wings 
two legs and many, many colors. As the frog talked, his friend saw the birds fly through his mind like large feathered fish. Here he is, his frog describing birds. And fish is imagining what these birds might look like. What else? asked the fish impatiently. Hmm, cows, said the frog. Cows! They have four legs, horns, they eat grass, and they carry big pink bags of milk. Here's frog talking about cows and look what the fish imagines a cow to look like. And people, said the frog, men, women, children. And he talked and talked until it was dark in the pond. But the picture in the fish's mind was full of lights and colors and marvelous things, and he couldn't sleep. Oh, if only he could jump about like his friend and see that wonderful, amazing world. So wait till you see what the fish envisions people to look like. There we go. Look at that. That's the fish's idea of what people might look like. Oh, and now he's envisioning the entire world with all of the amazing creatures that Frog had described. Look at this. Fish with wings, fish that wear clothes and walk on two legs, Fish that have horns and carry pink bags of milk. It's kind of fun to see what fish would imagine all of these creatures to look like. And so the days went by. The frog had gone again, and the fish just lay there, dreaming about birds in flight, grazing cows, and those strange animals all dressed up that his friend called people. One day, he finally decided that come what may, he too must see them for himself. And so, with a mighty whack of the tail, he jumped clear out of the water and onto the bank. That's got to be a mighty jump. He landed in the dry, warm grass. And there he lay gasping for air, unable to breathe or to move. Help! He groaned feebly. Oh, here he is. The poor fish. The water is too far from him. And he's stranded. Luckily, the frog, who had been hunting butterflies nearby, saw him and with all his strength pushed him back into the pond. There he goes. The frog is a good friend. Still stunned, the fish floated about for an instant. Then he breathed deeply letting the cool, clean water run through his gills. Now he felt weightless again, and with an ever so slight motion of the tail, he could move to and fro, up and down, just as before. The sun rays reached down within the weeds and gently shifted patches of luminous color. This world was surely the most beautiful of all worlds. He smiled at his friend the frog, who sat watching him from a lily leaf. You were right, 
he said, fish is fish. There they are. Back where they belong. Much happier. And still able to talk and dream about the rest of the world. That is fish is fish. So I hope everybody enjoyed that story. I highly recommend uh, Leo Leone. He's made some wonderful books, with some just lovely stories, full of all kinds of beautiful illustrations. Um, so again, sorry, I thought I saw a snapping turtle. I was all excited. Uh, my name is Michelle, and I work here uh, at uh, SeaTuck Environmental Association uh, at the Little Peepers Forest School, which is our preschool here uh, on the south shore of Long Island, uh, in East Islip. Um, and, of course, school is not in session right now, um, but we're looking forward to a day in the future uh, when we can be in session again. Uh, but until then, we can all enjoy the great outdoors. Um, and with our families, um, come out, enjoy nature. Come down to the South Shore Nature Center. Um, beautiful trails here. Just make sure that uh, you're well protected, wear a mask, uh, and we are strictly enforcing our social distancing here uh, because we want people to enjoy it and be able to come back more often. Um, so thanks so much, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of the day, and I'll see you next Tuesday at 2.30. Bye.